Residents in southern Gaza are running out of options, with international efforts unable to secure an immediate halt in fighting. Hamas has refused to discuss a prisoner swap, pressing Israel to end its attacks first. On the ground, an immediate evacuation order has sparked alarm for thousands sheltering Han Yunus. The UN says Israel is telling Gazans to vacate a large part of the southern city. Well, the number of safe havens in the Gaza Strip is fast dwindling. In the north, the World Health Organization says not a single functional hospital remains. In Rafa, in the south, there have been reports of fresh shelling less than a day after an airstrike near a hospital. Palestinian officials say the death toll in Gaza has crossed the 20,000 mark. The UN relief chief has called this a tragic and shameful milestone. Against that backdrop, faint hopes persist for a second truce. Hamas's top political leader, Ismail Haniyeh, is in Cairo. But the prospect of any deal remains uncertain. The Wall Street Journal reports that Hamas has rejected Israel's offer for a one-week pause in fighting in exchange for hostages. The international community is also struggling to find a way forward. The UN Security Council is due to meet again later today to vote on a resolution calling for a pause to the fighting in Gaza, which has been repeatedly postponed. Officials say differences remain over the use of the term ceasefire. And for more, Trent Murray joins us live from Tel Aviv. Trent, where do discussions for this new ceasefire currently stand? Well, it would appear that there is still quite a gap between the two sides trying to get an agreement on how to chart a path forward here with the ceasefire because we've, we know that these talks have been held with Ismail Henia and Egypt's spy chief around a, a potential humanitarian pause in order to try and get some of those Israeli hostages home. But we've just had a statement actually released by Hamas uh, showing uh, that they are going to reject any talks of prisoner or captive swaps with Israel until the aggression in Gaza stops. Let me just read a little bit of that statement. It says, there is a Palestinian national decision that there should be no talk about prisoners or exchange deals except after a full cessation of aggression. Now, when you pair that uh, statement with what Benjamin Netanyahu had to say last night, which was anyone calling for a complete end to the war in Gaza is, quote, detached from reality. Well, it reveals the two sides are still quite far apart. Now, some of this could be brinkmanship. I know some of the negotiators have said uh, that they believe Hamas may be trying to extract some more um, conditions out of Israel and to improve the deal for them. But for the families here in Israel, that statement will uh, be concerning because there has been growing calls within the families of the hostages to increase the amount of negotiations taking place to try and get their loved ones home. I think adding to the overall a uh, sense of, of alarm over all of this will be the fact that in the past half hour or so, we've just had another major rocket barrage fired at Tel Aviv. Uh, around 12 interceptions were heard overhead here by the Iron Dome system. So as it stands right now, the fighting will certainly continue between IDF and Hamas on the ground in Gaza. Our trend uh, alarm as well over Israel's latest order to evacuate. Now, given the UN Security Council likely to meet again later today to try to reach some kind of draft to call for a, a partial or a, a temporary ceasefire, uh, will this evacuation order trigger or give any more momentum to the UN Security Council reaching any kind of deal on a draft resolution? Yeah, well, I mean, the facts on the ground uh, would suggest in Gaza that it is causing diplomats at the UN to try and increase their uh, negotiations with the United States, who is holding up this resolution on the UN Security Council floor. Of course, we have to remember the vote was due to be held on Monday and it's been delayed twice now. It is expected today, but it, it may be delayed again. We'll just have to wait and see. But you're right, Israel's military has ordered the evacuation of an area covering about 20% of central and southern Khan Yunus in the south of Gaza. That's where the majority of Palestinians are right now because of the operations in the north. The UN says about 90 percent of people living in Gaza have now lost their homes and are displaced. So uh, we know the humanitarian situation there is growing increasingly alarming by the day. Uh, it, it, for that reason, we know pressure is building on the US to sign off on this deal, which does cause call rather for a major surge in humanitarian aid, food, water, medicine, all in desperate short supply. But uh, the US is holding firm right now, it would appear. The sticking point remains 
around who inspects the aid going in. Right now, Israel does that. They say that is for security reasons in order to try and make sure weapons aren't being smuggled in. But the UN is asking to take over those inspections because they say as a, 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 a party, a warring party in this conflict, that it shouldn't be Israel doing those inspections. It should be independent UN inspectors. Thanks, Trent Murray reporting live to us there from Tel Aviv.